And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And who is that? Is that Wicket? That's right. We're going to take a look at footage of Wicket right here and look at his special abilities as well as all the other Ewoks, specifically Peppery and Logray. And we've got lots of footage of how they're doing. They are fun. Don't know if they're overpowered, but boy, they, they the kits just look really interesting. They're definitely in the fun category. It'll be seen in the arena how good they are, but for now, they definitely look fun. First things first, we've got Wicket's basic attack called Inquisitive Jab. You know, remember when he was poking Princess Leia? Deal physical damage to target enemy and gain critical chance up for two turns if Ewok ally calls Wicket to assist. They also gain critical chance up for two turns. Now, the two other heroes we're going to talk about in this video, Logre and Paplu, have something similar. Logre has tenacity and Paplu has defense up. And it's important to keep that in mind because either going to be using Tebow as leader or Chirpa as leader. And Chirpa's leadership ability when Zaded out is very interesting to me because it gives 20% turn meter on every basic attack. So anytime there's assist, they're going to be doing a basic attack. They're going to be getting 20% turn meter. And then also there is a 60% chance whenever an Ewok does a special ability that they're going to call a random Ewok in for an assist. The way the developers worded it, it is that assist for days, but with shenanigans. And I completely agree. Let's go on to the rest of his abilities. Forest Ambush. Now, Wicket has 146 base speed, so he's going to be one of the faster Ewoks, so he'd probably be going first. Deal physical damage to all enemies. Ewok allies gain 10% turn meter for each critical hit scored, so you're going to want to have him have pretty high critical chance, but then they all should be going right after him. He's going to go first, and then they're all going to follow, so that kind of makes a lot of sense. And this animation is actually pretty cool. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Let's go to his next special ability, which is called Gorilla Strike. Deal physical damage to target enemy and call target other ally to assist. If the target ally is an Ewok, Wicket and target ally gain stealth and critical damage for two turns. It's very important because Wicket gets extra critical damage when allies are stealthed. And also, Paplu, whenever he is stealthed, he will taunt for two turns instead. So if you're going with a Tebow leader, pretty much Paplu is going to be taunting most of the time. Or if you're using Chirpa leadership, this is a great way to get him taunting right from the beginning. He will get two turns taunt right from the beginning. He can do his other special ability, and then on the next turn after that, he can taunt again. All kinds of funny stuff that you can do with these Ewoks. A lot of creativity can be put into it. But what also worries me is how is that going to work on defense? Wicket gains 10% damage for each living Ewok ally and each stealth ally. So there could be five Ewoks in play and there could be five stealth Ewoks. So that could be a 100% extra critical damage. We will see. He has a 50% chance to take another turn. At the end of his turn, he has a 50% chance to take another turn. And that chance is reduced to 10% if the effect triggered for the previous turn so at the end of his turn he has a 50 percent chance to go again and then he has a 10 percent chance to go in and then he has a 10 percent chance to go in he can keep on going as long as you're really lucky i suppose he could do three four turns whenever wicked stores a critical hit now this is the zeta ability it's very important all ewok allies recover four percent health and two percent protection very cool okay let's go to pet blue now, Paplu is the tank, and I just want to say that his basic attack does very low, low damage. He's a tank. He has base speed of 108, but he gets 25% extra speed. He's not taunting. He's really going like 135-ish, so that's very cool. Deal physical damage and dispel all buffs from target enemy. Now, the only other Ewok that does dispelling is Tebow, so that's very important. Paplu gains defense up for two turns. Eh. Ewok ally calls Peplu to assist. They also gave defense up for two turns. He's very tanky. His attack is really weak. We're going to look at his second attack, which actually does fairly good damage. Diversion, deal physical damage to target enemy, inflicts speed down for two turns, and Peplu gains taunt for two turns. So he will get taunt that way, or when we look at his unique ability, you'll see that whenever he gets stealth, he will taunt instead. His next special ability is called Galvanize, dispel all buffs from Peplu and target other ally. I wish this was an attack, but it is not. If the target other ally is an Ewok, they're called to assist and gain 10% turn meter. So this is another way of cleansing 
although Ewok Elder will be probably the primary cleanser for the Ewok tribes. Don't hold back. Now, this is his unique ability. Whenever Peplu gains a status effect, he recovers 5% health and protection. Whenever he gains stealth, dispel stealth and gain taunt for two turns. Peplu has 25% speed when he is not taunted. Very cool. Okay, let's look at Logre. And Logre is pretty much, I think, who they were trying to base Ewok Elder off. I mean, Ewok Elder is not like in the movie really, but Logre is, and he is support. Let's take a look at his abilities. His mystical strike is his basic attack. Again, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Deal physical damage to target enemy and gain tenacity up for two turns. Ewok Alley calls Logre to assist. They also get that ability. First special ability is called Dis Hypnotize. Dispel all buffs and remove 100% turn meter from target enemy. Wow, basically that probably can be used on Bayes turn one. Get rid of all the buffs, the taunts. Actually, anybody that is taunting is probably dispel that. Remove 100% turn meter from target enemy. Inflict days on all enemies for two turns. This attack can't be evaded. Wow. It can be resisted, though, so you want to put potency on him. That'd be very cool. I like that. I really like the days mechanic. Days mechanic prevents turn meter gain, assists, and counterattacks. And actually, days would just wreck these Ewoks and their plans. I, I worry about Maul. We'll look at a battle with Maul later. Prophetic Visions. Now, Logre is a little bit faster than Chirpa. So imagine this. All allies gain 20% turn meters. Ewoks allies gain 4% advantage in offense up for two turns. Logre goes, then Chirpa does that swarm where everybody attacks at once and you have all those buffs on that so that would be pretty cool if logare goes first and then chirpa goes right after that and then lastly we'll look at his unique ability whenever an ewak ally scores a critical hit logare gains five percent turn meter whenever logare is active whenever an ewak ally scores a critical hit that ally gains health up for two turns and then all Ewok allies with health up recover 10% health. Wow, that is very, very, very cool. Basically, critical hits are just gonna be really, 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 really good on Ewoks in general. They're gonna be just amazing. Boy, they're gonna be gaining a lot of health by that. So that is how it's gonna work. Basically, I think Daze is gonna be a way of countering these Ewoks and maybe something that prevents critical hits, maybe a short trooper or Kenobi. Let's take a look at some of these battles. This first one right here is pretty interesting to me. This is one up against a rebel team. And I like this because it's Wedge Biggs, Chase, and R2. I have no idea what gear is on any of these guys, whether they're using crazy gear or not, but it's interesting and keep in mind and take a look at how much damage just Wicket does. It's very cool. So this is Paplu. And he's taunting right now. Okay, so we've got Logay right here. All right, he dispelled Baze, which I thought would happen a lot. And take a look at this right here. We're going to get the whole swarm. My goodness, they all just went in like crazy on there. Although I think I would have went for uh, Wedger Biggs there. R2 gives everybody stealth. Boy, look at that. All those positive status effects on all those Ewoks right now. They all have got foresight and advantage and offense up. That is so much fun. Paplu can dispel right now. Not really needed, so just does a basic attack. Now everybody's got retribution from Chirpa's special ability. All right, we've got Turret doing his cleanse. R2 is going to go. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Retribution, everybody's going back. It seems like these Ewoks really ramp up and get stronger and stronger as the battle goes along. I think if you take out Wicket, though, they're going to have some trouble. And the other thing I was thinking about is that I'm going to show you some footage of the AAT tank raid. And probably low gray is not the best choice. You're not going to really need days in the AAT tank raid in phase two. I think in phase two and phase four, 
They're going to be very interesting with this setup right here where you take Low Gray out and put in Ewok Scout. And so I'll play that at the end of the video. But they're just cleaning up right here on a fairly strong Rebel team, looks like. And then right after this, we'll go after a Zeta Zal team and show you how they do that. Ooh, 25,000 damage. Nice. All right. Looks like they've got the momentum. Look at all those positive status effects. Boy, if they had B2 on the other team, that would clean that up pretty quickly. <laughs> I love that ability right there. All right. Let's take a look at this Zal battle. All right, now Zal has the daze, so I really was worried about all these guys right here getting daze, but you know, basically there's two cleanses on this Ewok team. Uh, the main one being Ewok Elder. Oh, one X speed that's so slow. And the other one is on. I can't remember if it's on Paplu Lowgrave, but one of them has a dispel. Uh oh. Let's see if Ewok Elder can bring him back. Come on, Ewok Elder. All right, so there's going to be the days on the other team. Okay. Pat Blue goes for the taunt. All right. All right, we're going to revive the uh, the Ewok right there. Comes back from the dead and attacks. That was a recently upgraded. The assist wasn't there before the last patch. All right. Boy, look at all that health gained. Hang in there, little guys. Murder bears. All right, look at all those positive status effects. Oh, boy, look at all that. Hey, look, that was almost like uh, old Ben died. Look at all those positive status effects. All right, so there is the Dispel right there. Yep, I would definitely target. That way he gets rid of the stun, and he attacks. Boy, this 1x speed, man. I'm not used to that at all. Oh, look at all that health they gain and protection they gain. I don't know. I don't know if these guys are going to be overpowered. I have a feeling they're going to be okay. Uh, I, I imagine... There might be some trick that we don't know about that'll make these guys quite amazing, but I suspect that a correctly modded out mall team, you know, with Palpatine and Nihilus, or even somebody that gives ability block will just wreak havoc on these Ewoks, or someone like Zerus might even wreak havoc. We will have to see. Uh, we'll probably find out in the next month or so how good they are. Now, Wicked is coming in a special marquee event on the 27th. And I believe starting on the 20th, 20th there's going to be a marquee event for both Papaloo and Log Logray. And they're going to be in two separate events, a couple days apart. And then finishing up on the 27th with a Wicked marquee event that is supposed to be different than the normal marquee events that we've been getting. I do like those events. I like... Just free stuff. We get to learn the new character. We get a teaser amount of shards, I understand. And then probably packs will come out after that. All right. Thank you guys so much for supporting and liking the channel. Be sure to like the video if you got something out of it. And I'm going to leave you guys here with the footage of the AAT tank raid. Basically, Logre is substituted out and Ewok Scout is going in there. And that is of the AAT phase two of the tank ride. All right, guys, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.
Thank <laughs> you.